Hello, my name is Veronica and welcome into the Learning Lab. And in today's lab, I'd like to share with you some of the items that I am prepping for my November craft show. Come on in, let's get started. As you can see here, these are some of the magnets that I have made to sell. I actually use the ones that you can get from the Dollar Tree, but be aware they don't have the really large bags, the 14 ounce anymore, mainly just the 10 ounce. So I also went to Michael's and got some, and these are just the same as the ones from the Dollar Tree. And if you use a coupon with it, it's gonna be great. This is a Michael's one, and that's a Dollar Tree one. And what I did to create these was, I went to this magazine that I used to get, well I still get it, in the mail all of the time, and they have some of the best things in there. And so what I do is I did, is I went through and tried to find some of those that has sayings on them. Like for example, right here, these say kitchen, home, and family. And I'm using one of these that I'm not going to use. That came from the Dollar Tree that was um, scratched in the top. I would not sell those. I use it in a flower pot or something. But once I put that on top, you can see how awesome that looks. Same thing for home and same thing for kitchen. And the way I did these was I did use my E6000. I don't have my big daddy tube, but I took this and I put some right in the center of my glass marble piece. And then I took that and pressed it down onto there and I just kept pressing and pressing and pressing and applying pressure until that E6000 oozed out and that worked out really well for me. Of course I'd already cut these out before I did it. So I did these which I think turned out really beautifully but I really want to bring in some other things that I did. So I know most of you have been in Tuesday morning and you've seen these nail polishes that they had in there and they started out as $1.99 but if you go in now they are actually 10 for $10 so you're going to get this for a dollar each and uh, someone was saying that a lot of these were made for Sephora so they, they are a nice quality. So what I did with those was I took them and I painted onto the marble. I used some of the black and white nail polish on there and then I used just another pinky color that I had to go on the back and I used my one and one eighth inch punch cut that out and put it behind it just so those colors would pop so here's one that I did using uh, some gold and I think this was an Essie one that I also gotten from um, Tuesday morning and I put a little of the gold onto the back and then I took some of this one I believe I have several of these and then I put it on now when you look at this you can see which you could leave it like this and just stick your magnet on the back but what I would do is take some Mod Podge though and go ahead and seal that nail polish prior to putting on my magnet I had a blast doing these here was a mixture of the black and white and of I think this color came out beautifully you can see through it on here but then once I put that black piece on the back that really makes it pop I put some Mod Podge on both sides put it down then went over it with a couple of more coats of Mod Podge and when that was all done I went and got one of my magnetic buttons took some of my E6000 dab some on there and then I just pressed and held my button into place till it caught and then I let those cure for a couple of days. So I still have a few more of them that I need to finish up. I am just so excited about these and all the different looks that you can get with doing them. I, I think this is going to be a standard staple. So while, while in the midst of creating all of these, I realized I didn't have anything for the children. So I went into my stash to see what I could find and I found these. I showed these in a Dollar Tree haul that I did some time back and these are perfect. They already have the bubble domed top. They are plastic which is great. I don't have to worry about the kids with the glass. Uh, these I will do the choking warning hazard 
for anyone who might be buying these little small confetti ones that had the princesses and frozen but i thought this is perfect for the children and here's what i did with those and this is my one and an eighth inch punch i believe and this covers the back completely these are already sticky so i don't have to worry about it and then i went and got these buttons and granted it's only 18 in there but they are already adhesive on the back so we've got 11 cents and we've got four cents so i'm at about 15 cents now and that black was just leftover scrap paper that would have gone into the trash can so for 15 cents i've got a cute little magnet for the kiddos using my one inch punch now I have one inch and I also have one and an eighth of an inch but on this one inch one I could put her down just like that again just as a little trim around it and then take my sticky magnet attach it to the back all done <laughs> the beauty about these is they already have adhesive on the back so when I peel them off and put them onto my piece of paper I can just fussy cut it out and when I did put mine down I took my bone folder and just pressed to make sure that was adhered really well to my piece and give it a good press even if you press down this plasticky part on top it springs right back into shape and yes these do hold up I used one to hold up an invitation that I had gotten to a retirement party and it held it right into place so now I don't plan to make a lot of money on these if you know anything about marketing these are called loss leaders and what a loss leader is, is, it's a small price item that's designed to get you into the store. Uh, fussy cut this one out while I, while I talk. Because I wanted to use some of these fish, but they don't really lend themselves to putting something behind it. But the shape on here is so simple, I think I can cut this out and get away with it. But a loss leader are those items that are on the front of the sales paper that you get from the supermarket or any of the big box stores. Those items are priced to get you into the store. And once you're in the store, their hope is, is that you're going to purchase some other items. So on these, they're designed for the kids to get their parents to come over. The kids' little plastic magnets are going to basically be free giveaways. Where I'll make my money is where the parents come and decide, oh, I really like that item I wanna buy. I think he is just precious along with all of these they just turned out so cute and they're fast fussy cut my princesses I just used my little black disc that I punched out tapped it on the back and these are made in no time at all so to make these for the kids it cost me somewhere around 16 cents so even if I sold them for 50 cents for the kids that would be fine now these would go for a little more I'd probably sell these for 75 cents if not a dollar for the really big ones that I have but selling these for a quarter or 50 cents that's not a problem and what I do plan to offer um, if you buy a certain number is a gift with purchase and here is my gift with purchase it's just a little box to put your items in so I was playing around with how to actually do this and I'll show you the inside of this one I have little finger notches on the side where you could hold but then I you would have to pull like this and then I felt I would need to double reinforce the box and I don't want to put that much time in it so if you just pull this ribbon the lid comes off and there are your magnets inside and I thought that was really cute so before I go there is one thing that I forgot to talk about on here this is a beauty because not only do the small little plastic ones fit and I think these are a better fit for kids because they're not glass also my large ones will fit in there also so for the adults who want to load up and get some really cute magnets to take home I'm also going to make 
some with some adult themed covers for them. Can I say cute again? Okay, I'm gonna do it. Cute. <laughs> So I do hope that these are a hit with the kiddos and it'll get their parents to my craft table so that they can shop, shop, and shop. As always, thank you for joining me in the Learning Lab. Please be sure to check out my blog at inclusions.blogspot.com. Until then.